Miss Susan, and I'm with Suzette's Puppets. And today I want to talk to you about having a home for your puppets. Whether you work with toddlers or preschoolers, whether you do a story time at a library or a circle time at a daycare or at a public school, you want to have an opportunity for a puppet to have a home. And there are a variety of different styles of homes that you can have for your puppets. I just have a few with me and I hope in the future to make some more videos to share with you some different types of homes that I use for the various types of puppets that I used for my own story time at my local library. This first one I want to share with you is a simple home. I know the drawing looks elaborate and that's thanks to a previous coworker, Carolyn. She's an artist and she is phenomenal. But if you look, it's just a regular grocery bag. That's all it is. So if you can draw or if you know someone who could draw or paint, have them design a scene so that it gives the kids an idea of what puppets inside. If you're like me and you can barely draw a stick figure, that is okay. Find a picture online that you can print out and tape or glue to your bag or find a clip art. But just find some way to design it just to share with the students whose home it is or at least gives them an opportunity to guess. And if you haven't guessed already, since there's a cave on the front, this is a home for my bear, Peter. Yay! So he lives in this home. Now this home is pretty specific. It's a cave and it's pretty much geared towards my bear puppet. But this puppet, again, another bag, is pretty generic. I asked my friend Carolyn to create some sort of winter scene so that I, I can use different puppets. I have a Folkmanis polar bear puppet and a seal puppet. And I've also made some penguin puppets that I have inside this home. But it's nice so that depending upon the story time that I'm doing, I can reuse this home over and over again. Because there's a variety of different animals that are awake during the winter time. So I can just change them out of this home. Another way that you can do a home is you can use a cloth bag. You can make it. I made this out of felt. Or you can buy a bag. But sometimes you might want to be specific to let the kids know exactly who's in the bag. As you can see on the front, we have a gingerbread man in the cape. So who do you think is going to be in here? Dun, da, da, da. Gingerbread man! This guy goes great with the story, the gingerbread man superhero. Hi! And in the story, he does have a dishcloth for a cape. But anyway, I, try, I designed this so that we knew that this guy went in this home and the kids love him because I have him fly in and out of this bag all the time. Last but not least for today, I love this. This is a box that I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They have boxes of various different sizes. This one does say Merry Christmas on it, but don't worry about it. Once the puppet comes out, the kids don't notice. But I like how big this is because I can be behind the box and I can put my largest puppet in it and it's almost like its own puppet stage. This is Blooper. He's another folk manis puppet. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so he comes out to help me. But the box is it's nice, it's different, it's big, and like I said, it can be its own puppet stage. So these are just three different ideas from using a grocery bag, to a cloth bag, to a box, to create your puppet's home. My name is Miss Susan with Suzette's Puppets. If you enjoyed what you learned today, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. Thanks and have a great day.